Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Hope you guys are having a good day. This is gonna be cool. Now, I have not built a uh, Formula One race car yet. I've tried my hand at it, and uh, I just couldn't quite mentally get it to work. Uh, for some reason, like, it just, I don't know. I, I just, I couldn't figure it out. So, we're gonna start uh, with a rather slim body here. Um, yeah, that should be good. We might want to go a little bit longer. Maybe about like that. Oh, that might actually be too long. Let's take these off here. All right, so that will be a decent start. Now, I'll go ahead and uh, we need some way to steer. So if I raise this puppy up, we are going to have to put the steering devices underneath. So I think about right there is actually going to work out well for us. And then I'm going to grab these small pipes. I don't know if you guys have seen these yet, but I've been using them in all of my wheel designs. That way nothing catches. Because if you rotate this, it's not going to catch this part right in here. Uh, so that's why I do that. And then if I come over here and hit that one. All right, so that is the front end of our Formula One race car. Now, I'm going to drop that off, and we are going to realign. So that's something. If you guys didn't know, you can actually drop the vehicle. You can grab it, and it'll place that lift in the middle of wherever you, know, you want it. So uh, next, we need to put the tires on, the back tires, the thrust, if you will. Those don't need to steer, but we're still, we're going to line them up just, oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to use the bigger tires for the back. So I think if looking at the Formula One car, the, the tires are relatively all the same, but I do think it would be neat. Did I put a bearing on this? I did. Okay. All right. So there's the start. Now it does not sit entirely level, which is okay, I guess. And then I want to come out. I really, I know nothing about racing or race cars. I've never been one for it. Uh, nothing against it. Just never have been into it myself. And so on the front here, I'm thinking we do one of these numbers. Kind of get everything all lined up. Oh, we missed it. All right. So that. Mm. That kind of does it for the front. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Like, I am just, I am not good at, um, or I just don't know anything. Like, I'm just looking at a picture. Um, all right. So let's put the seat kind of right there. And then there's some lift kind of in here. So why don't we go ahead and uh, place some of our metal blocks in there? We'll do one more layer. Kind of like that, and then we can, from there, come all the way back, kind of uh, gap in the car here a little bit. Apparently, I can't walk through that. All right, so that is a decent start. Um, there's no uh, corner blocks, but not necessarily corner blocks. Like, maybe, so if I were to put one... Here, there's no whatever that shape would be, kind of like a little pyramid uh, that I could put in there. So that's a little unfortunate, but we're going to need this thing to be oh, streamlined. So we can't have any uh, parts like that just sticking up. This will prevent the wind from coming across us. So let's put that on. That'll kind of, I think, do the same thing. I keep missing it. All right, and then we're going to remove our extra weight. You saw nothing. Um, we, we were going to remove our extra weight, but it decided it didn't want to be a part of this anymore. Uh, let's see. What, so that's a, a heavy block. This one's medium weight. This one's heavy weight. Why don't we run... 
could be an I beam, medium weight, medium weight. Yeah, why don't we just we'll just stick with this. Um, let's see. Boom. Actually, is there the scaffolding? How big is this shelf support? Oh, it's pretty small, actually. All right. So we'll take that one, that one, pick that up, that up. All right, so that's lightweight. Uh, and then we'll put up a couple more here. All right. So now, ooh, I have misplaced that guy. Okay. Don't mess this up. There you go. All right, and then we should just have a few more to place here. All right, so we've got lift and a lot of spots, uh, which is awesome. And then here in the back, we're going to put on a spoiler, which looking at pictures, there's a bunch of different ways these connect. So I'm thinking I'm going to go kind of up like this, and then we'll put on one of these motions here. Like a soul. Oh, I passed it up again, didn't I? All right, there we go. All right, so now we're going to need an engine, which we'll put that right here in the back. Like that. We'll connect the engine up to the tires. Uh, we want that one to rotate that way. We'll connect the engine up to the seat. And then... There we go. So if I get in, turn to the left. Nope, that's not right. All right, well, that's not going to work. Did I mess that up? There we go. All right. So that seems to be pretty decent. Now, I don't know for sure. Uh, you know what? No, that's, that's, I guess that's atomically correct because you want a lot of downforce on the vehicle. Um, Short of that, I don't really know, but I think this is going to be our, our, our Formula One race car. Now, it's not very fast. So why don't we go ahead, we're going to fine-tune our engine here a little bit. I'm not going to go for broke, not yet at least. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, there it is. It's very thin, but it, it's somewhat... Quick, like, I mean, oh, we just tipped it. All right, so let's see. Is there a way? So something I want to try here is I want to get this lower as well. So why don't we raise that? And we're going to put some supports on here. But I'm going to do supports in a different way. You, Yeah, you're the right direction. Awesome. All right, we'll bring you down just a bit. Okay. Oh, I missed it again. All right, so that should sit a little lower to the ground and help us from tipping from side to side. Uh, I also want to do one more thing here real quick, uh, something I actually forgot about. Let's jack that puppy up, and we are going to need some uh, support for a wheelie bar. Uh, because we don't want this thing tipping over necessarily, so we're going to put two of those on. And then we are going to put this on. Like so. Like so. Bearing, bearing. We need our little wheels again. Wheel. Wheel. That is our wheelie bar, okay? So it doesn't require any kind of... Uh, Blah, 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 propulsion because it's not going to work that way but we will now crank this boy up to 11 oh we need the wheelie bar oh, oh man we hit a rock right off the bat all right let's see let's put this guy back down and we'll, we'll kind of putter along here oh oh, oh 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 i said putter along okay calm 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 down I need to get to a flat location here. I need to... So, 
Oh, God. It's so fast. That is your Formula One race car, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is in a constant state of wheelie. Oh, yep. There it goes again. Oh, no. That didn't work. Well, what do you guys think of my Formula One race car? If you guys have any suggestions on what I can do differently, please leave them in the comment section below and uh, let me know what the next creation. Oh, God. Yep. That's it's too fast. It's too fast. In reverse. All right. All right. Let me know what in the comment section what the next uh, vehicle you want me to make is. And I will try my best. I actually could connect up these front wheels. And I'm going to disconnect the back. So I know it's not going to be as fast, but it should be a little more stable. But yeah. All right, guys. My name is Drax. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode of Scrap Mechanic. Yeah. It's not that fast, though. Dang it. Bobber.